morning, Nada. I'm here for an interview with our company design department. My name is Cindy. Hello, Cindy. You can call me Angie. Welcome to our recruitment test. I'm going to ask you about your views on originality, and you are welcome to express your opinion as frankly as possible. Then we will analyze your answers to decide whether you are suitable for our company. So, which examples of design have you seen that you find original? Well, first of all, recently I have seen a movie poster that I find very original. It's a pair of a poster for the movie called The Lobster. The first time I saw this poster, I found it very different from others. The designer used only one shape, but it conveyed a powerful message. And the audience will wonder who are the person they are hugging, so it can motivate them to watch the movie. And designer also find a way to balance the commercial and art. What a skillful design! I'm afraid I disagree. The way I see it is just a negative space poster. <clears throat> In other words, the designer just leaves some blank space to convey the message. Nothing special. In fact. Not long ago, there were many designers creating art posters like this. One of the most famous of these designers was Fukuda Scale. In Chinese, it's Fu Tian Fan Xiong. You know, the most famous designer in Japan. He is an expert in this form, and many of his works have been well regarded. You would take that back if you had seen that movie. The poster is closely related to the content of movie. Really? What's the movie about? Um, it's about single people who will be punished in a fictional future society. You see, they are hugging an invisible person. The blank space shows they don't have a partner in the movie. Do you think it's an extremely clear poster? In my view, it's almost a perfect poster. If you want my honest opinion, there were numerous movie posters in this kind of style. Like this poster for the movie The Lord of the Rings. And they are also meaningful in their own way. So I really don't think it's original. I can see your point completely, but I still have another argument to persuade you with. Although your poster is a negative space poster, but it's just an illustration. However, mine is a photograph. In this way, designer can express the movie's feeling, even reveal the main character. It's more direct than yours. Sorry, that's not enough to convince me. Since we can't reach an agreement, let me show you a movie which makes me get new perspective on movie form. Fine. I saw an extraordinary film yesterday. It's called "I'm Not Madame Bovary." In Chinese, it's 我不是潘金莲 For me, it's the most original movie I've seen recently. I'm afraid I can't agree with you. I haven't seen that movie yet, but I have read the novel it's based on. Personally, I feel it's not that original.、Uh, the storyline is similar to the movie The Story of Qiu Ju. This movie boasts about a rural woman seeking justice. Don't you think that if it really reminds me of other movie? This movie can be truly original. Fair enough, but you can't just disregard the way it represents a scene. The director Feng Xiaogang created a new way that the audience can watch the film with a circular shape, which I found completely original. We always see the film with a square screen. It's so boring. Let me show you this one. Okay. 感情不和，这严重。有了第三者，比这还严重。总不至于到杀人的地步吧？
Actually, the Beijing movie Lucifer was the first true circular screen movie. It's just not as famous as I'm Not Man on Bowery in China. I've heard of that movie, I can accept that. But according to my research, these two directors use different skills to show their movies. The movie Lucifer was shot using a tondoscope, which is a kind of camera that has a circular shape. Whereas Feng Xiaogang, who directed and not Madame Bowery, used a new kind of technology to cover the screen at the post-production stage. At best, he just created a new kind of technology, that's all you can see really. If he used another shape like a triangle to shoot the movie, maybe I would think it's original. However, he still used a circular shape. That's why I can't agree with you. No, definitely not. The movie Lucifer was shown on a circular screen from beginning to end. Compared with Lucifer, this movie not only uses a circular shape. As the story develops, you will find it changes from a circular screen to a square one. Is it? You make a good point. But what you said is all about the shape. After all, it's just different in film. Um, no way. You can't dismiss it it's like that. It's not only about the form, but also about the meaning of the movie. It's a homage to traditional Chinese culture. It's based on Chinese classical fan painting. The director restores the composition and colors that are in a painting into this movie. Really? That's fascinating. It looks like the director did indeed show his ingenuity in this movie. Okay, I stand corrected. I will try not miss such an original movie. Okay, that's all. Thanks for your opinion. Uh, I'm glad to have a chat with you. Looking forward to see you again. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.